Valentine's Day 2018, one of the deadliest shootings in U.S. history, tragically unfolded on a high school campus in Florida. And today, more than three years later, the former student accused of shooting and killing 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School faced a judge. How do you wish to plead? I've been guilty. Count two, but guilty. count three, guilty. and count four. Guilty. That is Nicholas Cruz pleading guilty to battery and other charges in a separate case related to a fight with a sheriff's deputy in jail. But today, we also learned that the 23-year-old will plead guilty to the events of that day, a move that means he will either face the death penalty or life behind bars. Three years ago, Cruz legally purchased a semi-automatic rifle and he opened fire at his school a day no one will ever forget, certainly those who lived it and those who lost people they love. And that is because we lost many that day, 14 students and three faculty members, all of whom were attending just another day at school or another day at work. One of those faculty members was Chris Hickson, a coach who took the job with no supplemental pay simply because he loved kids and what he was doing. Chris's widow, Debbie, is with us tonight. Debbie, thank you. Thank you for having me today. I cannot begin to imagine that the pain that you and your family have gone through since that day, um, but I'd like to start with how you feel today and your reaction to that guilty plea. Um, so, you know, today has been very difficult. We've kind of hovered in a in a holding pattern for so long. And then all of a sudden, all of this things are happening and we keep having to look at his picture and seeing video of him. So that makes today very, very difficult. Um, but I, I personally feel relief that we are moving forward, that we looks like we're gonna stop being in a holding pattern and that we can start to have some closure for this part so we can continue moving forward with our grief. Debbie, your husband, Chris, was the athletic director at Marjorie Stoneman, and he died confronting the shooter. It's a story that many of us have heard, uh, his heroic actions that day. How often do you think back about those moments that day and what your husband did? Um, every every day, I you know, we relive that. People think that talking about it or seeing it on the TV is like makes it fresh for us but honestly it's that way every single day um but that's who my husband was he was a navy veteran he lived his whole his whole life um thinking about students and how he could keep them safe and so it was really no surprise to us when we found out what happened that he had run in um, with no regard at all to his own life, just trying to, to stop the shooter. Three years later, Debbie, how do you keep Chris's memory alive? How do you honor him now? Um, well, we try to honor him every day. I will tell you that everything that I do, I carry him with me in everything that I do. I uh, recently, well, in the last year was elected as the countywide school board member because for me, it was really important to continue with a sense of urgency to make our school safe. Um, and just to make sure that I was um, living a life of through Chris's legacy of, of helping our students and our teachers to make sure they have resources they need and that they feel safe in their buildings. Do you think we're there? What more can we do to, to accomplish that? I, I think we're on our way there, but I do not think that we're there. One, one thing I will say that I think we've done really well, especially in Broward County, is teach our students, if you see something, say something. It, we've had a lot of um, issues diverted because students reached out, they saw something on social media, um, they heard something, and that part has been really good, but we have to work on what do we do once they say something. We got to act. Debbie, before I let you go, do you support the death penalty for Nicholas Cruz? I do. I, um, this is a person who is not going to be rehabilitated. He tried to, to basically kill a guard in 
in the jail. I mean, that takes a lot of um, a lot of guts. I don't know if guts is the right word, but it shows you who this person is and that he's dangerous. He continues to be dangerous and he just doesn't have he cannot offer anything positive to society. And I really think that um, the, the only justice here is the death penalty. Deborah Hickson lost her husband in Parkland. We appreciate your time, and I'm thinking about you and your family. I know the journey has been difficult and continues to be. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you for having me.